and fifth graders, this is the final lesson six of digital citizenship called a creator's rights and responsibilities. The essential question is what rights and responsibilities do you have as a creator? In our learning objective, define copyright and explain how it applies to creative work. Describe our rights and responsibilities as creators and apply copyright principles to real life scenarios. What does the word creator mean? Take a moment to think silently about this question. A creator is simply someone who creates something like a photo, a song, or even a dish of food. Boys and girls, you are all creators. Think about a time you created something when you wrote down an idea, took a picture or video of something, made a piece of art, or uploaded something that you made to the internet. What about a time when you view someone else's creation online, like an image or a quote from an article? When we create something, it's automatically ours. We have protections in place to make sure others don't use our work and say it's theirs. This protection is called copyright. Copyright is a legal protection that creators have over the things that they create. These are um, five important terms that I'm going to read to you and then you're going to use them for a fill-in-the-blank activity. Intellectual property. The ownership of something you create, giving you a right to how others use it. Copyright. Legal protection that creators have over the things they create. License. A clear way to define the type of copyright a, creator, a creative work has so that others know how they can use it. Attribute. To give credit to the person who created something, such as listing the author's name and date or a citation. Plagiarism. Using someone's creative work without providing attribution. Now I'm, we're going to do a fill in the blank. So please pause the video right now to give yourself a moment to get a piece of paper and pencil or even a dry erase board. And when you're ready, press play. Charlie takes a cool photo of a parade in his town. This photo is now his blank. He posts it on his photo site but does not indicate what type of blank it has. So people have to assume it has a regular blank. A few days later, he sees his exact photo on the local pizza restaurant's website. They didn't blank the photo to him, and they certainly didn't ask for his permission to use it, which is blank. So let's see how you did. Charlie takes a cool photo of a parade in his town. This photo is now his intellectual property. He posts it on his photo site, but does not indicate what type of license it has. So people have to assume it has a regular copyright. A few days later, he sees his exact photo on the local pizza restaurant's website. They didn't attribute the photo to him, or I'm sorry, they didn't attribute the photo to him. And they certainly didn't ask for permission to use it, which is plagiarism. For part two, I want you to think about these two questions. What should Charlie do about the situation? If you were Charlie and took this photo, how would you want others to be able to use it? So fourth and fifth graders, do you think copyright is important? Why does it matter who gets credit for something? In addition to benefits like money or fame, there is also fairness. If someone puts in the effort and time to create something, 
that person deserves to get the credit and have a say in how it gets used. As a digital citizen and creator, you have a right to decide how your creative work is copyrighted, but you also have a responsibility in how you use the work of others. Let's say that you are doing a report on the history of the World Cup. You search Google for images and find the perfect image of a crazily screaming fan you want to use in your report. How will you decide whether you can use it or not? <clears throat> Ask, what kind of copyright license does the creative work have? Do you need to get permission from the creator to use it? Attribute. Have you provided attribution to the creator? Sometimes you will have to figure out what type of license an image has. You could do a reverse image search to try to find out the original creator of the image. If the photo has a regular copyright, email or get a hold of the creator to ask permission. If you do get permission, you should provide attribution by listing the authors and the date and linking back to the photo source. You could also have them use a citation depending on what information is provided. So fourth and fifth graders, we have used Britannica Image Quest to find photos. We have used Pix for Learning to find photos. And a new one that I want you to explore is called Photos for Class. This website gives you access to safe images that are available to be used in the classroom and for educational purposes. These websites include photos that are licensed by Creative Commons for public use. When you are using photos for class, this is how you can give attribution. First, download the image, and when you do, the attribution will automatically be included at the bottom of the photo, as you can see in this photo of the elephants. Picks for learning. When you use the information that is included next to the picture in the website, <clears throat> picks for learning, you can copy and paste that to give attribution to a photo. And then finally, in Britannica Image Quest, when you click on the photo, there will be lots of information that is included. You will need to click on the word cite and then copy and paste the information like you, you can see at the bottom of the picture of these elephants. Now it's your turn to practice. I want you to find an image, any image that you would like, from either one or two of these three sources, Pics for Learning, Britannica Image Quest, and Photos for Class. When you find the photo, make sure you have it added to your photos, and then use the image in a new slide in your Digital Citizenship Keynote. Finally, add the citation for each photo in your Keynote. Boys and girls, we are critical thinkers and creators. And it is important that when you are using information that you find on the website, that you give credit to the creators of that information.